What is going on guys? We are back playing some more surviving with Thomcraft 5 and today guys We're gonna be doing some more infusions with the infusion altar specifically We're gonna be working on making the silver wood staff So this is gonna be able to hold a lot more V than a normal wand Unfortunately, it cannot go into the arcane workbench, but we're gonna be using it specifically for some wand foci So we already have the wand focus of excavation But today we're gonna be going for the wand focus of equal trade Which I've mentioned before and I've always mentioned that this one is probably ethos favorite he always uses this one and with good reason because it makes building a lot easier so we're going to be making that we got a pretty good amount of research we have to get through today uh, because we are going from having a great wood wand core all the way down to the silverwood staff core so we actually only have two things we're going to discover right now with research so the first one is going to be the uh, silverwood wand core which is this one right here i got pretty lucky with this setup uh, in terms of research, but a couple of them were a little bit harder and made it a little bit longer to do, but there's that. And then this one is the equal trade wand focus. Now this one was actually pretty easy. So there you go. So we can get both of these. And now if we open up the book, we can see the next one we have to do is magical stabs. So this one's actually surprisingly easy. I am going to do it on camera. It does look like our scribing tools are getting a little bit low. So I'll flip those out. So this right here is the setup. It's a lot easier than the previous one. So I already know how to set this up, of course, but we're gonna be doing Terra right here from Herba. Then we're gonna be doing Ordo up here from the Potentia. Combine these two and it's going to make Metallum, which is going to go right there. Now, this one is going to be going into, uh, I believe we're gonna go to Permutatio, which is gonna go right here. And the last one is going to be uh, Fabrico, so we already have one of these. Oh, wow, I guess we didn't use that up. One of the perks of the research that we have right now, but then we need to make Instrumentum, so we're going to be making another set of Metallum, which is going to be the Terra and the Ordo, and then it needs some Ignis and some Ordo again. Combine, whoops, combine those and combine these, and now we have Fabrico, which is going to go right here, and we are done. So now we can discover this and now we have magical stabs and luckily for us We actually don't have to research the silverwood staff core We can just re or we can get the research with four experience levels So click on that and if we look at the general magical stabs, it's pretty much saying that they're bigger wands they can store uh, more V and They I guess they grant an additional 10% V discount to foci, which is really nice um, They can be used as weapons, but it also makes them uh, unable to go into the arcane workbench. So now if we click on the silver wood staff core uh, This is gonna require a little bit of crafting to make so it only takes uh, 192 ordo to combine these in the workbench, which is fine You can see that it can store up to 700 V of each type, but it requires two silver wood rods and a primal charm So the first thing we're gonna do is work with the primal charm So this again is in the arcane workbench really easy to make with all the different aspects down here but it requires a lot of shards. So I went out and I got all these different shards. Uh, but one thing that it does require that we aren't, uh, that we don't already have is the balance shard. Now this one is pretty much just gonna be uh, a completely balanced shard with all the different um, primary elements in it. And you can see that the recipe does change a little bit in the crucible depending on which shard you're throwing in as uh, kind of the catalyst for the reaction. So I decided that we're going to be using a fire shard and I think that this should get us all we need right here So the sugar cane is going to be giving us uh, Two of the different primal aspects and then we're going to get another three of them from smooth sandstone And then of course we have the fire shard which would get us the ignis But we're going to come over here and I don't think we should have anything in here yet Now I assume this is going to work. I you know, I didn't miss anything, but let's get up here and I'm just gonna chuck these in. I know there will be some left over from these, but I think we should be good on this. Oh, we only got five balance shards, okay. I think we actually might be a little bit short on that now because it seemed to it seemed to consume some of those. So we're gonna grab some more fire shards really quick, quickly and see if we can throw them in here. Huh, I guess we ran out of one of the things that we needed for this. Okay, well I may hop off camera later and get some more of these um i assumed we had enough there to get all seven of them it should have been enough but whatever so we're gonna need some of these to actually craft the primal charm uh, which is what we're gonna start out with so we can come up here and we got these extra fire shards but we're gonna grab out 
uh, just I guess we can just grab out all these shards right now we're gonna be using some of them later but come over here and I don't know if it needs a specific recipe but we can just look up the primal charm and hopefully we can click it in here yep so there we go uh, easily can make it it doesn't really serve any purpose except for in crafting I believe if we want to go over to the uh, there's a primal charm marked somewhere in here right here so this talks about the primal charm it's pretty much just saying it's got no inherent magical power uh, but it can focus uh, some of the primal energy in essentia but it says that uh, these charms have additional powers but it's a little bit you know it's it's not necessarily like true so uh, keep that in mind but now we can come back and we can see that we need the silver wood rods so this is where the infusion comes in so you're going to be putting the silverwood log in the center and then you're going to be using some more balance shards along with all the other shards again and a lot of different aspects you can see the instability is moderate and so what we need to do is come in here and start cooking down i guess you could we're going to distill the essentia in these so these are going to come over here and i believe these are the only three that we're going to need the coal is going to get us the potentia and then we should get all the other aspects from these so uh, we can throw these in there they should be relatively quick that always bugs me the way that this kind of disappears but these will fill up their own jars and i do have a lot that i you know gathered up we really should not need 56 of this uh, i just want to make sure that we get enough ordo we really only need 18 because we only need to do this process twice so i guess once i get you know enough of this so once we get 18 oh gosh i can't even see that once we get 18 so we have the potentia we have yeah, so we have that, so we no longer need to have this in there. We can take that out, and we can throw the smooth sandstone in there, uh, which should be good. And, yes, yeah, so we have that. We already have enough Terra. We already have, yes, yeah, so we have. We already have a lot of these. We don't necessarily need, we need one more of uh, air, but we need the Ordo, specifically. But it's also nice, because we have the Void Jars, that these aren't going to fill up and then stop they're going to just, you know, kind of, it, it sounds bad that they're going to throw it pretty much. It's going to just dispose of it. It's going to go nowhere. Like it's, it's irrelevant. You see this one's full, but this one will just kind of start dumping it. Uh, if it overflows so that this thing doesn't stop functioning, but it's actually a good thing. So once this fills up with 18 of that, then we should be good to go. Each one's going to take nine. And of course it's just the primal aspects and then, uh, the potentia. So that's at 16. We're getting a lot. Okay. So once this one gets the last one, it looks like, yep, there we go. So we can take the sandstone out. And now we throw in the sugar cane just to get the last last couple. And now we can start setting up all the different pedestals for this. So one thing I want to do really quick is I made a couple more candles. And we're going to put those around. I believe you can have the same things, whether it be candles, skulls, crystals around this. And it will still function. I don't think you need to have, uh, you know all completely different ones so we're gonna put the candles like that it's more symmetry but uh, this is not you know nearly stable enough there are significantly uh, better ways to stabilize this or you can at least have a lot more down but I think it should be okay for today it's moderate instability if there are any issues I'll hop off camera and fix those but now we can come back and we can take a look at what it takes to make this so again we have all the shards that are gonna be going around the balance shard and then the silver wood in the center and I'm just going to let, I guess, all this cook down. Uh, did I leave anything over here? The silver wood. So let's get all this on our hot bar and get ready to throw it in there. So the silver wood is going to go in the center. And then we have an odd number of shards. So, you know, we can make sure we throw these down like this. And then so we have those right there. This can go here. This can go here, and then this can go over here. So unfortunately, like I said, we're missing one spot. There's going to be six of the regular shards and then the balance shard. So a little bit unfortunate, but we should have everything over here. I do want to make sure that we have everything over here. I am going to start getting a little bit more of the sandstone because we now have enough of that. We have more than enough of that. So we pretty much have more than enough of everything except for the... Uh, Ordo if it were to have any issues and the I guess you know a little bit more coal couldn't hurt But we should be able to start this now so we can grab out the wand and get it going The one thing that we want to keep in mind is we have to watch everything and make sure it's not popping off uh, Just because we we want this to go as smoothly as possible. So yeah 
So let's let's start going. Let's watch everything. Okay. It's getting sucked in there. Nothing's popped off so far. I don't know essentially when they start popping off if they are going to. If it's happening when it starts sucking items in or if it happens right now. But it looks like everything's going nice and smooth. Oh gosh. Okay, so... Oh, oh, okay. So this is the bad stuff that could happen. Uh, slightly bad stuff. Okay, it looks like everything is... Oh, we've gained warp. Okay. It looks like everything's going okay. Nothing popped off so far. Okay. And... There we go. Okay, so one down, one more to go. Okay, so a little bit of bad stuff happened there. It could have been worse, but yeah, now we have to go back around and set this up again. Doing all of this. Throw that there, that there, balance shard over here. And again, everything else should be okay in here to continue running. I am going to grab the... I guess there's no sandstone left, so we can throw the coal in there, and that can start functioning again, continue filling those up. I think, yeah, so we still, okay, so we still, we still have an open jar. I want to make sure that we never run out of space for stuff. Okay, so now we got to do the second one. It's unfortunate that it takes two of these, but we do have to do the second one, so let's go again. <laughs> uh... Just allow this I you know it's it's pretty much the same thing each time so it's not super exciting but I'm gonna do this on camera in the hopes that we might be able to see uh, either some of the side effects like what just happened or if we could see up oh, you can see this one popped off so you got to get back and throw it back on there that's what I was gonna say uh, I was hoping we'd be able to see one of them popping off so you guys could see what happens with that um, but yeah, you pretty much just want to make sure it gets back on there because the longer this process takes you could either You know forget what popped off because you know if I accidentally pick one of these shards up up oh, this one popped off Okay, make sure none of these other ones pop off Okay It looks like they're going strong nothing's popping off here It's good that it makes the sound that's the nice thing because it lets you know that something just came off it Okay, there we go. Nothing nothing really bad. Nothing bad happened to us that time. Stuff did kind of pop off, but nothing bad happened specifically to us, so that's good. So now it's time to come back over here. We can pull this out and we can put our other better wand in there because we're going to need a lot of ordo for this. But we can now make... Oh, it takes 201 point. Okay. So now we have the silver wood wand or silver wood staff core. So this is all nice. It's, you know, it's pretty much the basis for it, but this is not actually the staff itself. We need to add some caps to this. You still need caps for it, which is why I have iron over here. Uh, I do have research for better caps, but I actually need a better wand before I can add those on just because uh, we need to be able to get more V stored in the wand to actually do that. But the iron one should be more than enough for now. So we'll grab those out and then it's just like crafting a wand and I guess we, yeah, so we need to let this recharge for a little bit more ordo, but you can see, you can still do this with a wand that we have. The iron capped great wood wand is working for us, but eventually I am going to have to upgrade it to a silver wood wand. Uh, and then we can do some more upgrades to this workbench eventually to allow it to recharge in there. But now we should be good to go get out the iron capped silver wood staff. So if we look at this, you can see that it has a very big internal capacity, which is 750, which is awesome because it means that once this gets fully charged, I'll be able to use my wand foci a lot. Uh, so now what we need to do is make another wand foci, of course, which is going to be the uh, equal or the yeah equal trade wand foci, which is right here. It also opens up some pretty cool other uh, wand foci such as the portable hole, which I really want to make this one is really awesome uh, It allows us to get the builder wand focus And then of course there's a couple other ones up here that I don't have and I haven't made the focus pouch yet But I'll get to that maybe off camera later But we're gonna be working on the equal trade one now Unfortunately, I do have to hop off camera to make the balance shards But other than that, it's actually really easy to make just nether quartz and quicksilver which we've already used for stuff so I will hop off camera, get the balance shards, then we can come back, make this, and mess around with it a little bit. Okay guys, so we are back. 
I now have the four balance shards that we need. It was really easy to make, so now we need to get the nether quartz and the quicksilver. So I do have to turn this from drops back into a regular quicksilver, uh, but I just made it into drops for the previous time we were using it. So we can just click, I guess, oh, okay, so that's not even, I forgot that we went off of the equal trade. So here we go, equal trade, we can click it in there. I do need to swap out the wands because we need more ordo. Everything's using ordo up. So there we go. We have the equal trade wand focus. Now the V it uses per cast is actually really cheap. Ordo one, Perdicio one, Terra one. So that's really easy. And that means now we have two wand foci. Before it wasn't important to make the uh, actual pouch for these, but now that we have two, it's actually kind of important because as we collect more, it's gonna take up more and more space obviously. And you know we only have so much inventory space to work with. So I'm just gonna dump these back in here for now. And if we hover over the Silverwood staff, if we want to look in F5, is that bigger than a wand? Yeah, it does look, it looks bigger. Yeah, okay, so it is, but the back is bigger. It extends the same, you know, length in the front, but the back is significantly bigger. It looks a lot cooler. We look super fancy now. And now we can go and look at the two different foci for this. So hover this, and now it opens up. We can get the regular excavation on it. And I, you know, I really don't know what I want to excavate now. We could excavate. Uh, I don't know what I, we can excavate this. Haha, -ha. excavated. Yeah. And this always bugs me. If you accidentally like excavate this, it sits there. Eventually, it'll go away. But it just kind of sits there like that for a little bit. Uh, but now Shift F, and I guess we didn't have to do that because we're gonna switch to the equal trade. So the equal trade, we actually probably want to read up on this in the book because it's a little bit more complicated than using the other ones. It's not really complicated, but it's essentially saying uh, you first choose the block that you wish to change by sh uh, shift right clicking on the desired block. And then when you left click on another block, it will turn into the target block and then right clicking will transform a whole swath of blocks. And you must be carrying enough of the target blocks to replace them. So it's not giving you uh, free blocks. It's giving you uh, the ability to place them down a lot faster. Okay, so now that we have the focus on our wand, what we can do is come over, we can shift right click on a block. You can see that up in the upper left hand corner where we're able to see the amount of V that we have in our wand. You can see it puts the block up there that is selected. If I were to switch it to wood, you can see it also tells you how many blocks you have in your inventory of that specific one you have selected, uh, just so that you know how many you can use. So now we have stone selected and I'm trying to think of where I wanna replace it. Uh, I guess we can run down here into the mine and we can come over here to the granite. So now what we can do is left click and it'll change it to stone and it allows us to get the granite. So it's really nice for gathering blocks that might be a little bit more annoying to uh, mine up, but we can also take it and we can, I believe shift, no, it, we wanna right click in general and it replaces all of it with that. So we get a lot of granite, we get our stone taken away from us and it replaces a ton of it. And there we go. So uh, this is really nice if you're doing large amounts of building and if you want to get a lot of blocks really quick. So we're out of stone now, uh, unfortunately, but I actually think it's really fun to mess around with. And I'm curious to test it on obsidian because that might make gathering obsidian a lot easier to do. Not that we use it that much in this series. I use it significantly more in my rotary craft series, but yeah, that would be really awesome. So that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did like it or found it informative, entertaining, any of that, feel free to give it a like as it does help me out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later.